coworkers talking. Do you have any friends? I do. His name's Paul. We're very close. I have known him since I was a kid. We grew up together. What is Paul like as a person? Oh, he's a very nice guy and a very good friend. He has a great personality. What are his strong points? Paul is a very honest person. He's very straightforward and direct about what he says and does. He's very reliable, responsible and trustworthy. I can talk about my personal issues with him. That's great. That's important to have people like that in your life. I know. Two friends talking. How long have you known Carol? I've known her for five years. We work in the same company. Tell me about her. Carol is a gorgeous woman. She's tall and skinny. I remember her saying that she worked as a model when she was a student. She must get a lot of attention from men. That is right. She once had a problem with her boss who was hitting on her. She even had to change departments. Beautiful and sexy women are usually not very smart. You can't say that about Carol. She's a combination of cute and intelligent. Her mind and sense of humor make her even more attractive. Is she seeing someone? She is in a relationship with a man who is 10 years older than herself. They are planning to get married soon. Two women at a bar. Who is that handsome man over there? Oh, that's Fred. Do you know him? He took me out for dinner once. We agreed to meet again, but never did. Why? What was wrong? He seems so cute. He's hot, but the truth is he's arrogant and too sure of himself. This is only natural. All good-looking men act confidently. Do you know this lady from Human Resources? Rita Reynolds. She's so nice. Last night she stayed with me at the office to help me do some of my work, and then she gave me a lift to my place. Is she that nice to all her co-workers? Oh, don't be silly. Rita is a wonderful woman. She only means to help. We all love her. How old is she? She's around 50. Two co-workers at a bar after work. You look upset. What's happened? Is your boss giving you a hard time again? He sure is. He told me that if I want to get a raise, I have to be at my desk at 6 o'clock every morning for three months. Why does he have to be so mean? The man is going crazy. What are you going to do? Do you think he will actually give you a raise after three months? I don't know. This man cannot be trusted. I don't think he's going to follow through with what he has promised. Why don't you just quit? With your experience you can easily get another job in this field. No one would want to hire me with the recommendation letter that he would give me. That man is a sadistic psycho. He only needs a victim. He's chosen you to torture. You're right, but he's also my boss. Two co-workers talking. Do you know that new girl from research? She's been here for two weeks. I saw you talking to her at reception the other day. A new girl from research? Yeah, a cute short blonde with big eyes and a nice smile. Oh, that's Liz. She's my friend from school. She seems so nice. She is very nice. She was the best student in her class. How old is she? 23. She's my age. Does she have a boyfriend? I don't know. She dated someone from corporate insurance, but that's been over for three months now. What do you ask? Do you want to ask her out? Why not? I like her. We might hit it off. Oh, there she is. Let's go over and talk to her. I will introduce you to her. Jill and Marie talking about Jill's relationship. Why did you break up with Jim anyway? You seem so good together. He turned out to be a rude and cynical bastard. 
Why did you hook up with him in the first place? It started off as a beautiful love affair. He was so caring and generous. He would give me a bunch of roses every other night. He took me out to expensive restaurants and gave me presents. I fell head over heels in love with him. But the whole thing changed when we started to live together. What happened? You lived with him for three years. What kept you together for so long? You lived with him for three years. What kept you together for so long? I told you I was in love with him. I couldn't just break it off. But when I found out he was cheating on me, that was the last straw. Can you imagine? Oh, is that right? You know what they say, he who accuses accuses himself. لا تنسوا الاشتراك ومتابعة مزيد من المصطلحات والكلمات الهامة وكل ما يخص اللغة الإنجليزية على موقعنا على شبكات التواصل الاجتماعي. الروابط تجدونها أسفل الفيديو. إذا كنتم غير مشتركين برجاء الاشتراك وتفعيل الجرس وإذا استفدتم من الحلقة برجاء الضغط على إعجاب وترك لنا تعليق وإذا أردتم نشر العلم برجاء مشاركة الفيديو مع الجميع لتشجيعنا وبنهاية الحلقة نشكركم على حسن المتابعة ونرجو أن نلقاكم على خير في الحلقة القادمة بإذن الله مع تحيات فريق عمل عبد الكاكلاوي